Welcome back to MICE TV, coming to you live from the Cake and Pie Expo in Da Nang, Vietnam. I'm here with Ms. Tran Nguyen. She's the founder of the Fifth Sense Eye Center, the very first pediatric eye care center in Vietnam. She's also the founder of Vietnam's largest optometry Facebook page, and we'll get into that later. Welcome to the show. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. How are you doing today? I'm feeling great and fantastic. Good. Yeah. So I know you're up in Hanoi, that, right? Up in yeah. the north of Vietnam. Do you get down to Da Nang often to visit, or is this maybe your first time here? No, I've been in Da Nang for so many times, but mm -hmm. uh, this time is special because this is the first time I've ever been in an optometry conference mm -hmm. organized in Vietnam. So that's great. Wow, that is great. So what brings you to Da Nang so much? I know there are a few famous things down here. What do you like about Da Nang? Oh, I love the beach here uh -huh. and the food, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. And Bonseo, yeah. <laughs> but you know, you know what's funny is my favorite Vietnamese food is from Hanoi. Mm. Pho. Right? <laughs> oh, I love the pho from Hanoi, but the bun cha. Yeah. And then also, what is the chaka? The, the yes. fish? That's yes. my favorite. <laughs> So tasty. All right. Well, we could talk about food all day, so we better <laughs> switch over. Let's talk about optometry in Vietnam. You know, well, Vietnam is a developing country. So what are some of the challenges that you find, you know, being an optometrist and providing care to patients? Yeah, so now, as you know, optometry is just uh, seven years old in Vietnam, so it's a very young profession. Mm -hmm. And uh, we face a lot of challenges, mm -hmm. like, you know, um, um, lack of uh, equipment or books to teach the students mm -hmm. and uh, peer recognition in the right. sector and also public awareness are quite low. Mm -hmm. um, but we are never alone because beside us, we always have NGOs like um, Brian Honan Foundation, mm -hmm. Fred Hollows Foundation, right. all this, or IK Foundation. And all Vietnamese ophthalmologists and ophthalmic nurses always support us. So that's awesome. It's wonderful. Right. And we will actually talk about the Fred Hollows and Orbis. We yep. will get into that a bit later Absolutely. and kind of the impact that they have on the ground here in Vietnam. Um, you know, and I, I also I understand that optometry has changed a lot in the last 10 years in Vietnam. Can you address kind of, you know, maybe what some of the, the advances that have taken place? Hmm. Um, so um, I want to be humble, but... I have to say that <laughs> we've done a great job to train to have 300 optometrists practicing in Vietnam across the country. Mm -hmm. And in return, our ex-students are showing the community who optometrist is and how we can do to help the eye care service. Mm -hmm. um, so I am very happy that people little by little get to know about us and they put their trust in us. Right. Yeah, yeah definitely. So you, you talked about training, right? So how can local ophthalmologists get involved with that? Optometrists. Optometrists, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> how can local optometrists get involved with training other optometrists? I Actually, <laughs> I'm sorry for not introducing, but uh, I am lecturer uh -huh. from Hanoi Medical University. Mm -hmm. So okay. yeah, so I teach optometry students mm -hmm. yeah for seven years already. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, how can others? So like, are you spreading the message in some way, or how are others getting involved? Yeah, for sure. Like um, our eye students, when they graduate and they go outside to practice in hospitals and clinics, mm -hmm. and uh, they will be there to guide our our students, mm -hmm. like their juniors, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. in practice. Nice. So it's a w good way to train uh, our young optometrists. Oh wow! Yeah. Incredible. Well, and then speaking, you know, we're talking about working in hospital hospitals, and you know, this conference, Cake and Pie Expo, we're really talking about bringing optometry and ophthalmology together. You know, they, they are separate, but they also have the one common goal, and that's you know, preserving vision for patients and mm -hmm. delivering you know, great care. So in Vietnam, uh, what is the relationship between optometrists and ophthalmologists? Do you work together closely to manage patient care? Yeah, sure, because, you know, for many years, uh, Vietnamese ophthalmologists and ophthalmic nurses and also opticians, they've mm -hmm. been working together to fight against um, myopia and other eye condition as well. So mm -hmm. uh, I think that with the help of optometrists, we can share the heavy workload on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. And uh, we co-work, and I believe that um, optometrists can cover a larger area in not only refractive care, but also to monitor other eye condition as well. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it seems like, you know, optometrists, they also, that's the person that you see on a more regular basis as well. So they might have more of the trust and the relationship with the patient, too. And then you can just kind of use that to help work together to preserve care. Yeah. It kind of all works together. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, let's talk about, you talked about, you know, managing this care. What are some of the most common conditions that you see? And I know myopia is a big epidemic, especially in, you know, South Asia and Southeast Asia. What do you see a lot of in your practice? Um, well, actually, optometrists, uh, you know, uh, we are our frontline defenders toward uh, pediatric eye problems. Right. So we got to see a lot of children. Mm -hmm. So not only myopia, but every type of refractive error and strabismus and okay. amblyopia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, red eye, all those kind of infections. So we've seen a lot. Okay. But mostly, um, as we all know, it's refractive error mm -hmm. in Vietnam. Yeah. And let's just talk about that. You know, what is access to, you know, optometry care like in Vietnam for these children? I know you said you have the, the first pediatric hospital. Do you, do you find that there is access for a lot of these children? Do they do screenings in the schools or, or how are they getting screened for this? Yeah, actually we have a national program, vision screening program for school children. So across the country. Right, okay. Uh, so just now I just had a talk Mm -hmm. So we uh, build up a preschool vision screening. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, so we are thinking of it. But mm -hmm. uh, school vision screening, we've done a lot. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. So um, now we just touched on this. You said that you're working on the preschool screening. Are there other initiatives in Vietnam currently that are working towards, you know, helping to improve access and affordability of eye care? Um, there are a lot of projects. Um, you know, a collaboration between NGOs and eye hospitals and medical university uh, to go to rural area mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, establish um, new eye care centers because uh, as we all can imagine that um, the roads in rural area are very difficult to travel, right? Even right. no roads at all, but just mountains. Right. In mountainous yeah. Vietnam. Mm -hmm. um, so, and uh, the family economy there is quite low to afford the treatment. Right. So mm -hmm. we are trying to, you know, develop as many projects as we can to reach them. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Well, and one way that I know that you really get the word out is through the Facebook page that you founded. Yeah. yeah, it's Optometry Vietnam. It is Vietnam's largest optometry Facebook page. She says that there's about 4,000 followers, and they put out a lot of information centered around education. So let's just talk about, you know, if, if an optometrist in Vietnam wanted to join this page, what kind of information would they be able to access by, by joining this page? Well, it's, it's really easy to join the page. Mm -hmm. You just need to click at the join button. Mm -hmm. So just click it and I will approve it. <laughs> okay. And that's Optometry Vietnam. Yes. Okay. And so how do you think that social media can kind of help maybe increase awareness of the things that might be needed to further care in Vietnam when it comes to optometry? Well, I think that um, in the old days, uh, it's very hard to you know, assess to the information or it's very hard to, to meet up Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, eye care professionals, we can meet up whenever we have a chance uh, to go to conference like this, right? Right. But right now, we, with the help of uh, internet and social media, we can meet up uh, as many times as we want, um, and uh, we can share the information to a great um, number of audience mm -hmm. at the same time. So right. it's a good way to 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 keep connection mm -hmm. and also to get the latest news. So I think that. Uh, it's really good um, to um, you know develop the community of optometry as well as to reach to the audience, mm -hmm. our future patients. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you mentioned earlier about you know the reason that you were so excited to come here because it was the first time that you've come to an international eye care show. I mean that's kind of you know we're about getting that information out there. So what are some of the things that you were looking forward to, to most during the Cake Pie Expo? Actually. Uh, the reason why I'm here because I want to show my students. They are here, a lot of them. Oh, that's from, great. Yeah, oh. from all over the country, wow. from the north, the middle, the south. So oh, I, so I want nice. to, to meet all of them right. and to show them that um, uh, how optometry elsewhere is and what optometrists in a broad country uh, do mm -hmm. so that they have a pride in right. our profession. Oh, that's fantastic. I think that's great that so many of your Thank students you. are here. Yeah. All right, very good. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, is there anything else you wanted to add? You know, we are about done, but if there's anything else, 
I think that's I think that's it for now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we'll go ahead and cut out for today, but right now, but stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>